Doors. Please welcome me, myself, and I, O.J. Mr. Peter McCann, the referee, Mr. Tony Walker, who will now give his instructions to the boxers. Well, this is an interesting one. Wayne Alexander earmarked for the top, but O.J. Abrahams, as you've seen, is a fellow with bags of confidence in his own ability. And I have it on very good authority that O.J. Abrahams is going to try to jump on Alexander early on here and test his chin. There's one or two whispers around the game that if Alexander's got a weak point, it might be that he can be vulnerable around the chin. Let us see what Abrahams can do. On his night, Abrahams can be dangerous. Southern Area Championship, Alexander says he will become British champion and defend it twice this year. Alexander the big prospect in the blue trunks, the black of O.J. Abrahams, who comes from Watford and is an avid supporter of the Division I football team, wore one of their shirts into the ring tonight. And he's going to get a warning to the head, Abrahams, just jogging in law. Well, he's trying to break Alexander's ring of confidence by roughing him up quite clearly. This is trying a little intimidation on Alexander. You saw him in the stair up just before this fight took place, and that's what he's trying to do. Just psych Alexander out of it. Oh, and again, the very liberal use of the head, and Alexander complaining to the referee saying, Look, what is he up to here? Tony Walker's going to have to be very, very watchful. It was a good right hand there by Abrahams, and Alexander, to be fair, took it OK. And I think he's having a deduction here. One point off. A point deducted for O.J. Abrahams within the opening seconds. He's pretty hyped up, isn't he, Abrahams? Yes, he's really got a himself hyped up too much and he's in danger because he's keeping that head very low got him with another right hand and Alexander being put under pressure and he tried to knee him there he tried to knee him and he's tripping thrown out Abrahams has been disqualified in the first round well what on earth was he trying to do there he tried to knee him in what looked the most painful area of a tour uh, without wishing to be too direct about it. Well, that was ridiculous, wasn't it? It really was. A terrible performance from Abrahams, who could have been dangerous. Instead, he's made himself uh, a hall full of enemies. A disgraceful display by Abrahams. No, he just he proved nothing by doing that. He had himself so psyched up. It was all the roughhouse tactics he could come out with, and he'll really regret what he's done tonight. Well, this is the second headbutt we're going to watch now from O.J. Abrahams, who clearly went into this with the idea of messing up and roughing up Alexander, but he just took it to ludicrous proportions. It's silly, silly tactics. What on earth he was trying to prove with this? There he is, boring the head in. And then, most outrageous of all, he tries to knee Alexander in the groin. In there. You can't quite see it there because the referees are covering the shot. Let's see if we uh, can take another look at this. There's a low blow, and then that. Look at that. 
Well, ridiculous performance from Abrahams. Why he had to do that? It was a good opportunity for him to try and do something. Caught by a little right hand by Alexander there, and then the knee. Still trying to get the head in as he's got the knee in. It was, I mean, he didn't even try and do it sneakily. It was blatant for everybody to see, and he deserved what he's, what he's got. And Alexander is the Southern Area champion, but he wouldn't have wanted to win it like that. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 30 seconds of the first round, the referee has stopped the contest and has disqualified O.J. Abrahams for deliberately fouling his opponent. The winner, Wayne Alexander. No dispute at all about Tony Walker, the referee's decision there. He had no option. He'd already Ladies deducted a point. Middleweight champion of the Southern Area, Wayne Alexander. Well, that's a shame because we never really got a chance for Alexander to show what he could do. No, and that could have been a good fight. And with, with Abraham's being dangerous, we could have just seen how good the chin is of Alexander. In all of that, it proved nothing. It was really silly, silly performance from Abraham's. Well, here is Wayne Alexander. Wayne, you've become a Southern Area champion, but you wouldn't have wanted to do it like that. I can't believe it. It's worse than Mike Tyson. <laughs> I mean, he didn't want to fight anyway. From the beginning of the round, his legs were gone. He was, you know, he was shaking on his legs. He didn't want to fight. So, you know, he used his head. He bited me. Then he kneed me. He tried to knee you in the groin, didn't he? He, he, did, he did knee me in the groin. He did. He, he didn't want to fight. He didn't want to fight. He, he, it seemed to me he'd come in there very hyped up. He wanted to jump on you and try to rough yeah. you up. But, but um, I mean, it's, it, nobody gains, do they, from, from, a, from a, that kind of thing? But I could see the way that he was jumping up and down that he didn't want to fight. His legs were gone. His legs were shaking. He's very, he was very nervous. You know, that was, all, that was all just the hype. How disappointed are you that it's ended like that? You've trained hard for this fight. It was your first championship fight, and then that happens. I thought I'd go two, three rounds. I knew I'd stop him, but... I never thought it'd be like this. But next, I won the British title. The winner out of Bingham and Furbin. Well, maybe that can happen. Let's bring in Frank Warren here, because I'm interested to hear what his views about that were. Um, it was pretty... We've seen a few things, haven't we, Frank? But that was pretty outrageous. It's just stupid, wasn't it? He had, I mean, it just looked like he was looking to get thrown out. Uh, he lost his head. He was using his head. And when he sort of uh, need him in the three-piece suite, I mean, that's not on, is it? And, uh, you know, you, I just don't understand where his brain was. I mean, he, he won't get paid. He's cheated the fans. He's cheated... Wayne, which I think would have been a victory for Wayne anyway, but, you know, it's, it's just not on, and uh, there's no place for that in this business, there's certainly no place for him in this business, if, he, if, if that's how he wants to behave. What do you think the British Boxing Board of Control should do about that? Well, they're going to, the purse, we've already been, we've already said that we would, and also the, the board have agreed that his purse will be withheld. They're also Can you tell us what the purse was, roughly? Off the top of my head, I can't, honestly, it was a purse bid, so it's, it's um, whatever it was, but they'll hold it up, and, uh, I don't think he will get paid. He's not entitled to be paid. That money should go into the benevolent fund. He's not done any. He's not worked in there tonight, has he? He's just come into the first round and just basically spoiled it for everybody. It's you know, it's a great shame. He's going to get suspended, isn't he? As well, I would think on the back of that. Well, obviously they'll decide what they're going to do to board. But uh, as I say, there's no need for that, and we don't want that in the, in the business. You know, I can understand some guys who have got experience and, and maybe think that Wayne hasn't got so much experience that he wants to old man him, rough him up a bit. But not that way. You don't. You don't. You know blatantly head button and knee people in the uh, in the old <laughs> who knows, it's not in the unmentionables the unmentionables yeah, yeah. south of the borders and all that yeah yeah it's, it's a bit embarrassing for you as well i mean it's not your fault you you can't sort of choreograph what goes on in the ring there but people have, have paid good money to come and see it and they haven't seen a fight and that's why he should not be paid um it is a great shame and obviously you know uh, i thought it's going to be the fight of the night to be quite honest we was looking forward to it and I was looking forward to see Wayne in action. I thought it'd be a good fight for him. And uh, as I say, uh, said earlier, I did expect him to win the fight, but not in these circumstances. And I feel everybody's been cheated. And, and Wayne's been cheated because it's not, you know, it's not really a satisfactory way to win a title. Yes. I think we should reassure Wayne Alexander's girlfriend he's okay. <laughs> well, she's been the first one to let us know. I'm Thanks sure. a lot, Frank. <laughs> Well, no one very happy about what we saw in the ring there. And Barry McGuigan, you have to ask.